title of um, Big Payments Data, Big Challenges, and really wanted to explore the, the theory and the, um, the reality of big data. There's an awful lot of press and a lot of um, uh, writings and research and studies on big data, but really wanted to um, explore that in terms of the payment industry, how that relates to the payment industry, and to try and draw on a number of different sources that showed how that's relevant today, not for tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. But actually, there's an awful lot of companies already working with big data, using it to drive business benefits to them, um, and how companies, um, startup companies, nimble companies such as um, like my own company, ARN, um, can work with these companies to help them drive um, the improvements to their business to ultimately drive their bottom line performance. So I um, just kind of went on a bit of a journey and explored some of the key themes of, um, of what big data means um, and, uh, and drawing out what it means today. So um, there's an awful lot of um, loyalty schemes out there now. There's an awful lot of um, companies working uh, to enhance and enable uh, better loyalty schemes. Um, there's also companies that are looking to sit almost above loyalty schemes to aggregate loyalty schemes into uh, so you can use your points or your um, rewards from one loyalty scheme to exchange it for other things in other loyalty schemes. And I think retailers and, uh, and banks and so on um, will um, need to enhance their own loyalty uh, platforms, their own loyalty schemes to differentiate themselves. Um, to make them very relevant to their customers and to keep their customers coming back, which ultimately is what you want from a loyalty scheme. And I think a lot of the, um, the big data um, techniques can really engage uh, in a very meaningful, very personal, very one-to-one -one driven conversation with those consumers, consu consumers that have given their permission um, for those brands to work with them. Um, so, you know, as, as a company, as we talk and uh, engage across um, different territories, uh, in different sectors, um, we're really seeing how we can help um, drive and leverage uh, the data sets that retailers and banks and so on have um, to really differentiate their loyalty schemes going forward. So I think um, from a retailer point of view, from a merchant point of view, it's, it's very key that they are making um, the best use of the information that they have available to them. Um, be that uh, a, a retailer that's operating in the physical world, in the store environment, or indeed even in the online environment. Uh, retailers have always been very good at looking at how they interact with their consumers at every stage of the, the life cycle. So be that when they come onto the site, when they come into the store, um, through to uh, their checkout process, making that as efficient and swift as possible, uh, and then how they interact with the consumers post-purchase. Um, so there's a lot of retailers looking at that journey from um, in the physical environment, from uh, from the store to the door, what, how can they engage with, with consumers. And really the big data um, methodology takes all of the different information sets available, um, be that from beacon technology, be that from um, previous historical interactions, be it from the loyalty schemes, other data sources taking that data and able to play it back to, to engage the consumer in the right way with the right message um, in real time um, throughout that journey. So I think it's very key as retailers are uh, embracing new technologies, they're embracing the new way of working in this, this omni-channel world in which we live with smartphone penetration growing every day, um, that they truly leverage those four data sets to, um, to really get the, the best conversation and communication with their consumers as possible. I think uh, yes, it's, a, it's a broad question, it's, it's a, quite a wide question, um, but there's some exciting things happening in the marketplace and I think a realisation of a lot of um, thought process building up uh, that are being realised and being seen coming to market um, through this year. I think there's a um, the payment industry has always been good at leveraging its data sets in the fraud and risk environment to help try and mitigate and limit the fraud side of things to, to really promote their, their, their profitability. So it's not business prevention, but business enhancement. Um, but one of the key trends which I'm excited about coming out of the US, spreading to Europe and to Asia, is um, the willingness and the desire for the payment industry to, to leverage smaller, more nimble organizations 
uh, and perhaps uh, who are using the latest open source technologies. And the key thing with open source technologies is are because they are constantly evolving, constantly de being developed by a wide community of people. Um, it, it keeps it very fresh, keeps it very um, uh, at the cutting edge of technology, which enables you to make the most of, um, of, of the trends that are coming through. So companies like ERN leveraging open, day, open, um, open source technologies, uh, I think will be quite an exciting uh, um, thing that will happen in the payments industry. Um, the uh, latest technologies coming through helps um, the payment industry to, to make full use of consumer behavior, which is changing as well with the um, smartphones, tablets, etc. Um, so real, real time communication, real time engagement with consumers is very much a reality that can, can happen. And I think we'll see far more um, application of that real time communication with consumers. Things like uh, next best action um, uh, to really make sure that um, every interaction with the consumer is as engaged and as meaningful as it can be. So really sort of that open source embracement, open source technology being embraced together with um, the things that, that facilitate such as the real time communication, real time um, engagement of consumers. The, I think for me the, the key uh, exciting developments we'll see um, enhanced this year.